Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Stamp It Like It's Hot. And I'm going to use three stamps today. Our challenge this month is to stamp and cr with stamps, create your own pattern paper. So I have this star stamp by Heidi Swap that's on this little holder. It came in a Mind the Scrap kit a couple years ago, and I have only ever used it for uh, stamping glue and then sprinkling glitter or some, or some fiber or something that would stick to it. So I'm gonna try it with ink this time. I did a test and it came out like this, which is great. I like the, um, uh, kind of the rough hewn sort of look. And I've got these stamps. This is a stamp set from uh, Dina Wakely. And I'm gonna use this one that has the letters and numbers and this one that has the rough edge with the little dots inside. Maybe I like this one better. I think I'm gonna go for this one because I don't like the rough edges as well as I uh, like, well, you know what? I could actually use all three of them, but I think I'm just gonna use the two stamped in black and then the others stamped in the um, peacock feathers. And the photo I'm using is a rather, um, it's a bad photo, but it's the first photo of Barrett uh, in his uniform at basic training and he's, posing here with his bunkmate, and they have become friends. And uh, so I'm gonna use that in my title. And uh, I'm at the mercy of whoever t takes the photos there and whoever took this one chopped their heads off. So that wasn't me. It's not how I cropped it. <laughs> it's, it's how they took it. So let me put this aside. And let me start. Uh, I know that my photo is going to kind of go a little right of center and a little uh, below center. So I'm going to kind of concentrate around in here, but I don't, it's not going to bother me at all if I cover up some of my stamping. So I'm going to go in with these, um, those first. And then I'll take the black around. I'm gonna have some running off the page and some of them kind of incomplete like that. That's kind of part of the, the idea there. So I'm not really trying hard to, um, to get those done. I'm liking it just like it is. I think that's awesome. And I like that the, um, the glue has it picking up the ink kind of in an irregular pattern. Okay, I think I'm going to call that it for the peacock feathers. And I have to tell you, I could not be happier. Let me do that. I had a little bit of ink left on there. And it's actually picked up some paper scraps. And I see the paper scraps kind of showing in the stamping. So I could say that's intentional. And y'all would be impressed, right? <laughs> so here, here we go. Now, I'm going to kind of overlap and do... Whoops, I almost didn't choose where I was gonna overlap that one. So yeah, that's good. I love that stamp. And the, the numbers are all wonky the wrong way. So I'm gonna try to do this one. I'm sorry. That way. It's okay, Siri, I'm fine. that's happening more often these days where um, Siri thinks I've asked her a question. I'm gonna do 
that. I think that stamp may have moved, but who, who can tell? I would buy this pattern paper, wouldn't you? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. I love it, actually. I'm really happy with it. I seriously would buy it. Let me come down here. I know I should be um, kind of blocking that so that it doesn't come off on my... And I'm just in a hurry and... Maybe two more, maybe one, like so, because I've got that smaller stamp that's going to still, I'm still going to come back in with that. Okay, so big stamp done. Small stamp. Let's see. And what I'm going to do is kind of try to overlap two, a blue one and a black one, every time I stand. And so we'll kind of connect them that way. I don't have to do every one. And they don't have to overlap to every time. But I kind of like that. There and maybe down here. I think I'm good. Let's do one here because there's a piece of that star missing and we can maybe take your mind off that. So I'm gonna put this aside and because I was not, um, I didn't think ahead and have a sheet of paper to off stamp on. I've got to clean this. And this is a dry baby white. Dry-ish. It's wet enough to clean, but it's not wet enough to wet my surface. Okay, so now I, I've got this really... Uh, bright background and I want some contrasting colors and everything to kind of be resting on something in order to um, kind of not have the busyness of that take over my layout. So I've got this envelope which to me symbolizes that now that he's away um, He might be writing some letters. Let me kind of get, I've got this. I wanna, um, my idea is to put that about right there. And then kind of do something like so. And hopefully that will fit in there. I think it will. I, I think I'm out of staples, so I'm going to glue these together just in that same form, and, and I'm going to stick these into the envelope. Then I'm going to put the 
photo on some foam that's going to go like that. And I needed to have that teal in there. Let's get a piece of foam for this. I have just made a couple of extremely busy pages for my um, road trip series, and I'm ready to do something a little bit less busy. Okay, let me get what's happening is those are not glued down. Let me try that. Ah. I think that's, that's okay here. Let me, let me get that down. <laughs> Whoops, I've got my finger stuck to that really thin paper and I don't have that down far enough. It slid up. So, I've got a little, I did not do this uh, properly. And I'm gonna try to adjust it so there's no buckling anywhere, but I'm afraid this is is buckling, and that's because something is stuck down there. Okay, so now, now I'm going to place it here at a slight angle, and then this is up at another angle and I'm trying to get something off the floor right now and it's acetate and I can't see it <laughs> so okay and I'm probably not going to use it anyway so now let's get this in here at that angle okay and that is let me see he's in south carolina and south carolina's license plate and uh that kind of their state symbol is the palm tree so i thought i'd put a palm tree in there it's not like he's on a tropical vacation <laughs> but any stretch of the imagination. But I kind of thought that might be cool. And I thought I'd put the title kind of across the bottom of the envelope, parallel to the paper. I've also got this guy And I could do friends parallel to the envelope instead of the paper. And I could do kind of have that in there. I like that. I don't, I think I'm probably nuts and probably nobody else will like it or, um, or understand why I would do that, do something like that. <laughs> but, and I'm, I don't think we're losing, you know, a lot. There's some other soldiers here and I'm just gonna kind of do that. And then I'm gonna put some glue here. I'm gonna add another font. I'm gonna say new friends.
I think I'm going to put the word over the flower. I've got this thing that says, here for a good time, which would kind of be a funny joke, but I think I won't use that. It's kind of cute, but I'm, I'm thinking I won't use it. I do want to use this striped, um, it's a, 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 an adhesive brad by Simple Stories. And it's cause you know, you're always in the service, you're trying to earn stripes. That's kind of my, my um, idea there. And I, can use it, I'm gonna use it this way. I just wanna make sure that the stripes are parallel to the photo. I think that's good. And now let's get the army green letters. Let's say new This is a nice gray color, so that works out well with these gray green letters. Let's see. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot of journaling here. I don't, um, it's our first glimpse of Barrett in uniform. And I kind of want the stars to um, kind of shine on their own. I, I like this pattern paper that I created. And this gives me, I, I wanna thank Brianna for starting this whole series because it gives me, um, this one in particular gives me so many ideas for um, pattern papers that I can create. I'm looking right now for something that is um, pink. The, this flower may not be quite pink enough to be considered um, mind the scrap colors. Um, the teal certainly is. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I have a here. I have this thing that I can cut this off of. And I can put this maybe right there. And it's kind of a, a joke that um, like many years ago, I did a, uh, a page about Barrett and I used pink and someone said, I can't believe you used pink on a boy page. And I, I, I told Barrett that they said that. He said, why wouldn't you use pink? He said, some of my favorite flowers are pink. And I thought, okay, this kid has got <laughs> the, the, the right attitude. He's absolutely um, ooh, there's a bright, hot pink flower right here. But I think that's pink enough for um, Mind the Scrap Colors. And the teal is certainly good. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of journaling to say... Um,
our first pick of B from basic. And I will put August 2023, and I have to put a B. And the B would have been enough. I didn't have to put that bird uh, as a, a requirement, but it's kind of cute. So, and since I have the tropical look going over here, so I'm going to do the B right here, here, or... Here, where do I want this? Um, if I hadn't written that right there, it would be good. I actually kind of like it on the striped thingy, but it hides all the stripes. So how about there by the bow? Like, or the, not the bow, the uh, banner. That can work. And I'm done. Thank you for watching. I love this pattern paper. And I, I think I'm going to go create a whole collection of um, papers that would go with this. And I am I can do all colors. I'm excited. Bye. And be sure and check out all the others who are going to be uh, stamping to create their own pattern paper. And I'll list... Uh, all of their video links in the, well, actually, I won't. I will be part of a playlist, and I will give you a um, an address, uh, a link to the playlist, and you can, uh, you can watch them all uh, from there. So, thank you for watching. Bye.